Bible stories are my favorite kind of stories. I think I love them so much because they're amazing and true. Like this one, God made a promise to his special people called the Israelites that he would give them a home in a place called Canaan. They walked a long way for a very long time. They even had to cross a huge river. But they finally got close enough to see the land God promised them. There was a problem though. There was a big city called Jericho blocking them from getting to the special home. And around the city was a big wall. The wall was too tall to climb and too strong to break through. They needed help. So God sent an angel with his plan. The angel told the leader of the people named Joshua exactly what to do. Joshua told the plan to some very special priests. These men were special because their job was to carry the Ark of the Covenant, which was a very important golden box that reminded everyone that God was with them. The plan was to carry the Ark of the Covenant all the way around the city walls, blowing their horns while their army quietly marched behind them. Following the Ark of the Covenant was like following God. God told them to do this once a day for six days. Then on the seventh day, they would march around the whole city seven times. On the very last time around, on the last day, the men carrying the ark would blow their horns and finally, the army would shout as loud as they could. When they do this, the walls of the city would crumble it was a strange plan, but they did exactly what God told them to do. For six days, the Ark of the Covenant led the quiet army. On the seventh day, they went around seven times. And on the last time, Joshua yelled for the army to shout with all of their might. And the tall, strong walls of Jericho crumbled down. They were able to march right in. God's people could have looked at the giant walls and given up hope, but they trusted God to lead them. He gave them a plan, they followed it, and he kept his promise. God led them to victory and God leads us too. He always keeps his promises. Thanks for listening to my story, friends. I'll see you next time, bye.